Lara. Thank you so much for watching. In today's video I will show you how I transformed a simple white button-down shirt into a cool sleeveless shirt with racer back. It is quite easy also for beginners and I have used lace for this tutorial but you do not have to do that if you don't like lace you can replace the lace um, around the armholes with a bias tape then it would be super simple and you could just leave out um, the rest of the lace which I have used uh, for a decoration around the button placket so you can create your own version so if you want to know how I gave my old button-down shirt a makeover then please keep watching and also make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss any further projects and now let's get into this the first step was to create the shape of my eraser back I put the shirt on first put in a few pins where I thought it would look the best and then I traced out the line with a pencil I made sure that the line was neat and that I could still wear a bra underneath my shirt, so I had to add enough seam allowance. Next I cut the sleeves and the back using the line as a guide. Here you need to add, as I already said, enough seam allowance because otherwise the armholes would be too open. Of course, I also made sure that both sides would be equal. I think the best to ensure that is always to pin the sides together and uh, to use the first side that you cut um, as a guide. I had to sew the side seam and the bust seam a little bit in because the armholes for sleeves are always a bit more open than on sleeveless shirt. If you do not have bust seam you will have to make bust starts. Once that was finished I measured the amount of lace I needed for the armholes and for the button placket. Here you could simply use bias tape to edge your shirt instead of lace and you could leave the decoration around the button placket out. Once I had the necessary amount of lace, I have sewn together the ends first and then I pinned the remaining part of the lace to the armholes. Here is what it looked like so far. I have sewn the lace on the armholes. I have used an overlock stitch, it's a stretchy stitch, but you can use a straight stitch or another stretchy stitch or a zigzag stitch instead, whatever works for you. Then I folded the lace inwards and I have pinned it in place. Here is what it looked like. And then I have sewn around the edge with a straight stitch. This is how it looked like afterwards. You can always use also stretchy zigzag instead if you want to. It depends on you. I also pinned the lace around my button placket. I think it looks good, but if you don't like it, you can leave this step out, especially if you use around the armholes just by a tape instead of lace. I have sewn the lace around the button placket in place with straight stitch. I made sure I was using back stitch on each beginning and end uh, so that the stitches were secured and they couldn't come loose later. And that was the final step, so my racer back button down shirt was done. Definitely a very cool piece for the summer. So that was my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you liked the idea. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumb up and you can also share it with anyone who you think might be interested in this project. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet so that you won't miss any further projects. And also if you hit the little bell next to the subscribe button, you'll get notifications whenever I upload new videos. I will link down below my playlist Sewing for Beginners and the entire sewing playlist. If you will browse through the videos, you might find something interesting for you, something you haven't seen yet. And I link down below also my Patreon account, just in case anyone would want to support me. I would be extremely grateful for that. And all of my Instagram accounts are also linked down below. If you guys use any of my ideas, you can tag me on Instagram. I'm always happy seeing what you guys created. And thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I love creating videos for you and sharing my ideas. And see you next time with my next video. Bye!